What's going on, my fellow YouTubers? It's your boy Dave. Here you for a really quick, quick video. Um, I had a couple of free quests, and I don't know what the hell I was gonna say. I, was, I had a couple of requests for people that wanted to actually see my cooking video. My I just came off from work. I'm busy today. I'm doing a ponytail today. I'll do a tutorial and a dread update and lunch check on my dreads. So far, they got really, really, really long. So. Anyway, this is a quick food video. I want to do just a little something that I'm actually going to make. I'm actually going to make um, a meatloaf. Instead of using your traditional, either like your pork or your beef, whatever, I'm actually going to mix it using chicken. So we're actually going to do like a little quick video, okay? So I'm going to turn around. I'm going to show you all the ingredients that I am using today. This is really, really quick. It's really, really easy. Okay? Here we go. Hopefully y'all can see. Y'all see everything? Okay, good. So these are my ingredients that I am going to be using. Um, I'm actually going to be using Purdue. Um, fresh ground chicken with natural flavorings. Um, they was on sale for Big Y, so you know I grabbed a couple of them. Um, using some fresh cloves of garlic. Using some Borden 6 cheese Italian. Italian style breadcrumbs. Just a couple eggs. So pepper, onion, garlic, and I'm going to actually use, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite tomatoes, I don't know how you pronounce that, don't judge me, shut the hell up, Rienzi, selected Italian plum tomatoes and thick puree, I'm going to be using that, and I love to use fresh thyme, so that's actually what I'm going to be using, um, I'm actually going to chop up my garlic first, I'm going to then take my Purdue Ground, ground chicken, add, add my seasonings, use a, <coughs> a teaspoon of thyme, because if you use too much thyme, it gets to be too like, too like bittery, kind of, like you know, um, and the rest of my seasoning are just up to taste, uh, I'm going to actually be using either two eggs or one egg, depending on, probably just use one, one egg, because you don't want the mixture to be too, too wet, and about a cup full of Italian um, bread, bread crumbs. I'm going to mix all those two, mix all those ingredients together along with my freshly, my freshly chopped garlic. Um, and then I'm going to pour my pur, my puree. I'm going to bake it for like 45 minutes to like a half an hour. Um, I just came off of work, filmed like a little bit of a meatloaf. You can probably tell it's like my little bit of a glare, don't judge me. Recording from my iPhone, I'm tired, but this is what people want it. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty, 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 pretty much it. Um, it's really, really simple. It's nothing too, too crazy. Um, after, after I do that, I'm actually going to, um, after everything is all mixy and thoroughly mixed, I'm going to um, look smooth every, smooth every, everything out like a loaf. Um, then I'm going to bake it, and actually I'll show you all that while I'm mixing, okay? So this is going to be a several part video. This is part one. Don't judge. I'm tired. Let's go. See you in the next video.